हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर उर्वशी शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन टुडे सेशन वील बी डिस्कसिंग डॉक्यूमेंट डिजाइन सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द सेशन डॉक्यूमेंट डिजाइन राइटिंग द ड्राफ्ट ड्राफ्ट रिविजन एंड यूज ऑफ ग्राफिक और इलस्ट्रेशन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स इन टेक्निकल राइटिंग प्रोसेस document design is the process of choosing how to present all of the basic document elements so your document's message is clear and effective when a document is well designed readers understand the information quickly and easily how here are some tips for document design consider the purpose of the document what do you want the document to do is it to inform persuade or entertain the purpose of the document will help determine the tone style and format of the document identify your audience who will be reading the document what are their needs and interest tailor your document according to your audience to make sure that they can easily understand and use the information choose the right format there are many different types of documents each with its own purpose and format choose the format that is most appropriate for your document and your audience use clear and concise language avoid jargons technical terms that your audience may not understand use simple direct language that is easy to read and understand use visuals to support your text visuals such as charts graphs and images can help to break up your text and make it visually more appealing they can also help to explain complex concepts or ideas in a way that is easy to understand writing the draft writing the draft is a process of putting your ideas into words when writing the draft it is important to be clear concise and organized you should also use visuals to support your text here are some tips for writing the draft start with a strong introduction the introduction should grab readers attention and give them a clear idea of the document organize your thoughts logically the body of the document should be well organized and easy to follow use headings subheads to break up the text and make it easier for the reader to find information they are looking for use clear and concise language avoid jargon technical terms that your audience may not understand use simple direct language that is easy to read understand and comprehend proofread your work carefully before you submit your document be sure to proofread it carefully for any gra- errors in grammar spelling or punctuation draft and revision draft revision is a process of improving your document when revising your document you should focus on clarity conciseness and accuracy you should also use visuals to support your text here are some tips for revising your document get feedback from others ask a friend family member or a colleague to read your document and give you a feedback they, they can help you to identify any areas that need improvement use a checklist create a checklist of items to review such as grammar spelling punctuation and clarity use the checklist to make sure that you have addressed all the important areas make changes as needed Once you have reviewed your document make any change that is necessary be sure to proofread your work carefully after making the changes graphics illustration use of graphics or illustration can help to enhance your document graphics and illustrations can help to break up the text make your document more visually appealing and help to explain con complex concepts or ideas in a way that is easy to understand here are some tips for using graphics and illustrations in your document use high quality graphics and illustrations 
The graphics and illustrations should be clear, easy to see and relevant to the content of the document. Use graphics and illustrations sparingly. Too many graphics and illustration can make your document look cluttered up and difficult to lead. Label all the graphics and illustrations. Be sure to label all the graphics and illustration with a caption that explains what the graphic or illustration is showing. So in this session, we have uh, studied the document design, how the document design is uh, one of the main, uh, say, in this session, we have discussed document design. Now, document design is giving a form to your document. Giving form to your document means whether the document will be in form of a project, abstract, proposal, or it will be in form of a manual. It all depends on the purpose of the document, the readers from who, for whom the document is designed, and it also helps us to identify the key elements, whether we want to use picture, visuals, or graphics, or infographics to make our document more appealing and understanding, understandable to the readers. So this was all for this session. Thank you.